Hey guys, welcome to Restobin. My name is Kushal and in this video we are going to see how to block the TikTok app on Wi-Fi router. So recently, a few months ago, I published an article and also created this video demo in which I showed how to block a website. And I got a lot of comments in this asking me for uh, blocking the TikTok app or the PUBG app or a YouTube app, Instagram app and all those apps on the mobile. In this video, is we are going to see how to block the app requests. Let's move ahead with that. So first and the foremost important thing is that we need to make sure that we have a router which supports DNS, we have a good internet connectivity and we have the OpenDNS account. So OpenDNS account is the one which we would be using to block the request from the backend. We can create this account for free and I have also mentioned the steps on how to create that. So first thing is uh, what is OpenDNS? So OpenDNS is a service which helps to track, view the stats and the block all the incoming and outgoing uh, network requests through our Wi-Fi. So if we configure the OpenDNS uh, IP address uh, with our Wi-Fi router, then we would be able to see all the incoming and outgoing uh, network request. This also helps in blocking as well as uh, also helps in protecting from uh, phishing and uh, improving the spam protection and improving the overall network stability. So this is all about the open uh, DNS and it is also acquired by the Cisco. So we have that uh, big name uh, behind the open DNS and uh, we can totally rely on it. Now next thing is uh, let's start off with the setup. So we have two parts. One is uh, setting up the uh, Wi-Fi router to use the OpenDNS IP addresses and uh, second thing is to configure the uh, blocking uh, in the OpenDNS. So let's start off with the first thing. Uh, this is my Wi-Fi router. I already logged in and I already uh, set up my DNS to the uh, open DNS IP addresses. Uh, this IP address is already mentioned here. So you can just go copy this and paste it in your DNS settings. Uh, for DNS settings, uh, irrespective of what router you use, whether it's a local or international, uh, whether it's a Netgear or a D-Link or a TP-Link or whatever, I guess a DNS support uh, is almost supported in all the network routers. So you can just go into the DNS setup and uh, switch your uh, DNS configuration from automatic to manual and enter these IP addresses. So once you make these changes, once you uh, apply the changes, uh, just restart your router and uh, give it a minute or two to completely start and establish the network connection. And then once you have done it, just go and access this uh, welcome DNS op uh, welcome open DNS page. And if you access this, uh, you will have. Uh, this uh, right tick and it will say your internet is safer faster and smarter because you are using open dns so if you get this success message that means uh, your router is uh, configured with the open dns now this was the first part uh, in terms of configuring your router so you no longer need to depend on your router now whatever things we are going to do is basically in the open dns account so once the router is configured and everything is done, what we need to do is we need to create the OpenDNS uh, account. Uh, it's a free account for home users and uh, you can uh, just go sign up with your email ID and password and then you can use it. So if you go and head over to this link here, you can fill in all the details and create the account. Uh, then you will receive an email confirmation on the email ID that you have entered. And uh, once you verify that email ID, you would be able to log in. So you can sign in by clicking on this link or you can also access this uh, OpenDNS dashboard link. Enter your username and the password and then you just click on login. So I already have my account. So I'm just going to quickly go login into my account. So once you have logged in, you would have tabs over at the top uh, like home, stats, settings, uh, my accounts and all those others. So what we need to do is go to settings. In the settings, you have this ad network and in this ad network, uh, you would be having this IP section and it will be pre-filled with the IP address. Uh, this IP address is basically your network IP address, which is your ISP IP address, which is assigned to your Wi-Fi router or your connection. So just go quickly uh, click on this add this network and give it a name say suppose uh, home Wi-Fi 
and hit on done. So once you uh, hit on done, uh, you would be your network would be added into this uh, your network section, uh, which I already mentioned here. So once you add it, uh, it will be added into your network section. So this is exactly the same screenshot. And then once you have done it, just go and quickly tap on this. I mean, click on this uh, IP address to go into that particular IP address settings. So once you tap on the IP address, you would be navigated to this uh, settings page and you would be defaulted to this web content filtering. So in this, what you need to do is uh, you need to go to manage individual domains and add the domain uh, addresses of TikTok, uh, which are added, uh, which are shared in this uh, uh, website. So if you scroll to this block TikTok uh, domain names, uh, you would be having this list of domains that you need to block. So these domains are specifically those domains which uh, helps, uh, which run in the background of the app and which uh, downloads all the data from the network and into your mobile app and uh, using which you can view the videos or the uh, interact with the app. So if you just go and block these all domain uh, names which are mentioned here. So your TikTok uh, app would be uh, blocked. Let me quickly add these domains. Make sure that uh, you are adding uh, one uh, domain per record. Let me speed up this process. So once you have selected always block and enter the domain name and add it to the block list, all the domains will be appearing in here. So it will take a couple of minutes or maybe like 30 minutes or so for the uh, open DNS to make these changes over the network router. So uh, give it a 30 minutes and later after 30 minutes, what you can do is you can just go and test your uh, a TikTok app and uh, and I'm 101% sure that uh, those uh, videos won't be able to play. Uh, you would be still able to access the app. You could be still able to navigate through app, but the video content uh, which was earlier playing would be stopped. And uh, you may also get uh, sometimes an error saying that uh, network connection or there is no network connection and all those errors. One last thing which I missed to uh, tell you uh, earlier was to enable the stats and logs. So just go to this tab uh, from your Wi-Fi settings and uh, just enable this enable uh, stats and log and uh, apply hit on apply changes. So what it does it it will start collecting the data in your dashboard under the stats and it will show which are the requests that are being processed like which are the incoming and outgoing requests. So this uh, will help in uh, collecting all the TikTok uh, related uh, domain names and uh, that you can use uh, in future. So it's been an hour for me now and uh, Finally, I was able to test it. So here you can see uh, this is my uh, mobile which is screencasted and uh, if I go to TikTok app and open the TikTok app, uh, you would be uh, watching this uh, no network connection error and uh, you can see my Wi-Fi is already connected. So even if you do multiple refresh, uh, it won't be connecting. Uh, however, if I browse my Wi-Fi and uh, try to access any website, I would be able to do that. I hope this helps. Let me know guys if you have any questions and uh, if you have any friends or colleagues who are facing with a similar problem then uh, please go ahead and share this video as well as uh, this uh, website URL that I hyperlinked in the description below so that they it would be helpful for them. Thanks guys. Cheers. Have a great day.